with some iridescence to them so they have little other colors coming through. Look at that blue coming through there. Mm. Lemon drops sparkled with fairy dust. <laughs> I know, he's over there saying only you would come up with that. Pretty much. It's okay. It looks though. like mermaid skin. Yeah. It's very, well, I, yeah, like I really know what a mermaid skin looks like, but if I could imagine. And you've got a good imagination, so I believe it. Oh, this is pretty, pretty. I'm loving this. Look at this bird. Beautiful. It's, it, I guess it's a peacock. I would think so. Yeah. With his, you know, his feathers aren't spread out, but that's beautiful. Got a little red rhinestone eye there. There's the back. There's the bell. The bell is. Uh, very big oblong but it's put on this uh, rope chain twisted rope chain that's a lobster claw clasp I don't see any markings on it so it's probably not silver looks nice though there's no tarnish on it it is very magnetic. It's probably made in Korea. It's, pro it's probably vintage. But it doesn't have a vintage class. That lobster claw is not vintage. Very cute. Love the bird. I don't see any missing rhinestones right off the bat. So yeah, that's cool. I like bird, bird jewelry. Ooh. This is very, oh, I think these are real pearls, freshwater pearls. It feels lovely. Even these are not even. So yeah, these are pearls. Very beautiful. It's very long. I, I have it doubled. Let's see, it's probably, um, 48 inches. Very pretty. Beautiful pearls. They just feel the luster on them is beautiful. And they're in great shape. Oh, I didn't show you the clasp, did I? Here's your clasp. Looks like they're marked. I don't know. I can't read it. It's got something on there. I can't get the light to shine on it just right so we can read it. Looks like 14K. Yep. Yeah, see, I knew these pearls were real. I didn't even see that class. Let me... It definitely says, it says... It looks like Zo Z O and B, a capital B. Or Z O B. And then underneath that's 14 carat. That's a winner winner. Look how long this thing is. Uh gotcha. 48. You can measuring stick right there. I know. Okay, I guessed it was 48. Let's see what it is. Yeah. Yeah, 48. Yep. Am I good or what? Uh, you're awesome. <laughs> you just love me. Yep. Right answer. Very beautiful. Yeah, those are pretty. Yes, they are. This is going in the hobby lot. And there's nothing wrong with it. It just needs to you need to either take this off and you have a nice beautiful Old tone bangle, or you need to re, re put a ribbon on it. But we'll put that in the hobby lock. Let's see. We have two um, aluminum, pretty green color, bluish green. They look more green, but they're bluish green. 
very pretty bangles. We have two aluminum silver tone bangles. And then we have this brass inlay, mother of pearl bangle. Very nice. None of these should be magnetic, so these are not aluminum. I made a mistake on those. Yeah, none of these here are magnetic. So these are not aluminum, but they're light. They have a very rough exterior to them too, very textured. Not rough, but textured. So they're nice stacking pieces. There you go, honey. Thanks, sweet. Okay, the next one we have is this little acrylic bead, pink and silver bead wire necklace. It's a gold tone wire. And it's peeling. And it's going in the Hobby Lot because we've got good uh, findings here on the end of those two. The next one we have is, well now, okay, these are not dirty. <laughs> I thought they were dirty. It was like, ugh. They're not. That's just the, um, way the beads are made gives them a real stone look they are acrylic though fasted lobster claw clasp with a extender with a bead excellent condition this is a beautiful color I don't think it's We have a string of cold beads here that are disconnected from something. I'm going to put them in the uh, hobby lot. lot. Ooh. More. Here's a copper tone bracelet here. Yeah, it's copper all the way around. But it's got this heart with the physician's assistant, I guess, PA. Mm hmm. Heart on there. I don't see any marks. Let's do a magnet test. Okay, it's magnetic. But the bracelet is not, so it's copper. And now I see some silver here, a lot of copper. So it's, sil it's silver over copper, the bracelet is, with the little charm. Physician's assistant. I love that. You know you can put it up, honey. Uh, yeah. The next we have three cloisonne bangles, one's thicker than the others. You can see the thickness there. We'll look at this one first. It's got beautiful design. I'm trying to make it out because it's kind of got a glare on it. I'm only looking at it through the camera like you guys are. It's floral. It's got periwinkle blues a greenish background, some orange red here, very pretty. This one's got the red background with the white flowers and pink flowers. There's pink there, very pretty. And this one's got the white background with blue flowers and yellow flowers, very pretty. Those are very beautiful. Yeah, those are not magnetic. 
Oh, I don't know if they're brass, gold, or what. Very beautiful. Well, that's pretty. Avon or Sarah Coventry? Avon. Avon. Love it. Love that cross. I love that necklace. I think I already have it. That's a good thing, so I won't have to keep it. <laughs> Beautiful. It's got a texture chain. It's in excellent condition. Very beautiful cross. You got any? I'll lose that, okay. Looks like we got a little pile of little girl jewelry. And I don't remember the mo movie's name on this. I don't know why that's doing that. Yeah, that just needs to... What's the character, let's see. This little girl with the red hair. Oh. oh. I recognize it, I just can't remember. Yeah. See, you too, huh? It'll come to us in the middle of the night. Here's another little necklace and probably a little bracelet. I don't know how all these go. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. This is the little bracelet. Pink bracelet, and it just sticks in there somehow. Oh, there we go. It popped. And then here's another little necklace. Little girl's lot there. Cute. We have a watch. In green, that's not working at the moment. It looks like all its rhinestones are there. Looks like it's a leather chain. Oh, it's got a cross too. And all the rhinestones are there for that. Alright, now how does this do? Let's go, oh, there it is. I to find a snap. Now crack a pop. Okay, that is the way it fastens. And it fastens here. Brave. What's the name of the movie? Brave, yeah. yeah. <laughs> New country. Good job, Papa. He should know. He buy it. The kids get every movie that comes out. Yeah, he's a fantastic husband. He's a grand, great, I mean, just a fabulous pawpaw. He's everybody's favorite. And I don't mind, mind him being the favorite. He deserves it. There's the glass. Pretty yellow with a leaf design in there. Here's the back. It's on a pretty um, snake chain. Lobster claw clasp. Very pretty. Artisan, I was looking for a mark. That's very pretty. I like this. Is looks like a real leaf right here. Don't know how they did that. Make it look so real. The next is a Napier necklace chain. Spring ring class. Here's your tag. Napier. Rope chain, excellent condition, no wear. <clears throat> Just waiting for a pretty pendant, or it can be worn alone. How big was it? Well, how big was it? 
24 inches. Twenty four inches. Yay me. Yay you. We have this little broken necklace here, but these are glass beads. Beautiful glass beads. And your hook is still there. So I'm gonna put those in the hobby lot. Very pretty. Here's some moonstone beads right here. Whoops. There's the other one, the other side of it. Gonna put those in the hobby lot. Honey, would you put those in a little bag so sure. they don't come off? I might put a knot in, but well, just in case I'll yeah, do it. Yes, dear. Do it. Yes, dear. <laughs> just do it. Here's some rice like um, beads, pearl beads. I'm going to put them in the hobby lot. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Here's your slingshot. I'm going to knock somebody out. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> you can somebody that rascal. Yeah, you can. This is a very heavy ball here. And it's on a snake chain. Very long snake chain. It's more than 24 inches. Here is your spring ring clasp. Look, it's got sort of like an atomic look to it, and it rolls. Wee! You can take your necklace for a roll. I can't help myself tonight. I'm sorry. I'm having one of those nights. Playful mood. Let's see, 12 inches and. Another four inches makes it thirty two inches. Very nice, no wear on that at all. Thirty two inches, you said? Yes. Okay. Here's a little rope bracelet with beautiful little cat's eye on it. It's not, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a rope bracelet or not, but anyway, it's going in the hobby lot. The beads are too pretty not to do something with them. Let's see what we have here. We have a glass beaded, beautiful glass beaded bracelet with a gold tone lobster claw clasp. Excellent condition. These beads here are, I'm not sure what color that is. It's hard to tell sometimes with that little extra light. Let's see if we can put a little extra light. Oh, that's blue. Oh, you can hardly see it, but it's blue. And then pull it back some. That one's blue. This one's purplish. That one's black with gold pieces in it. And this one is also a purplish color. I'll try not to. So you can see some of it pretty well. Here we go. Here you go, honey. Thanks. And the next one is got a tiger's eye. We have a gold tongue chain with a lobster claw clasp. It's mostly silver tongue to me. Yes, it is. 
extender with a bead. Chain is definitely gold toned. And it comes down to let's see how this is done. Okay, that's right, this wood hangs. Like that. Cat's eye bead with this dangly circled bubble looking bottom. Very cute. Gemstone necklace. The next is ta da. That looks like um, amethyst. It's cold like amethyst would be. There's the back. There's the front again. All the rhinestones are there. Silver tone chain. Lobster claw clasp. I don't see any markings. Close here. But you have to look on this part too. Sometimes it shows up there. Let's see. Where is my loop? Here it is. No, it's not marked. There's your chain. And your little pendant. It's very pretty. Have to check to see if that's amethyst. Oh, there's this one. I've shown that one and that one. I'm gonna start laying them over here when I show them. Okay. okay. Here's a necklace that's come undone. Sometimes I am able to fix these, and then sometimes I am not. So I'll have to see if I can fix this one. It's a very nice chain. If not, it's going in the Hobby Lot. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the Hobby Lot, because I'm not going to have time to fix it. I have too much to fix already. Yeah. I heard that yeah under your breath. Oh, <laughs> What? No. Oh, then I heard it? Oh. No. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here's a little tennis shoe. Here's the back charm. You can put it put it on or take it off. And here's the little charm bracelet. Lobster claw clasp. Nowhere on this charm bracelet. Very cute. Ready to add more charms. I'm going to just put it in the Hobby Lot if somebody needs some rubber bands or they have kids that like to play with that. This is a little bracelet, Number Hope. Beautiful teal color. Looks brand new. Doesn't look like it's been worn. Very pretty. That's for Christmas. Jingle bell. So the next one we have here is lobster claw clasp. Now we are journeying, we're making a journey. This is a just a stop along the way. We decided to stop here today. Little Claire's. Making our way to New Orleans for our granddaughter's graduation. Very pretty little necklace. Hubby was kind enough to bring some jars along so we could open some up along the way. Let's see. It's got little rhinestones in it. It's very cute.
and it's not broke. I'm not sure why that hangs down like that, but it's supposed to. It's made like that. So you can tell. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. You might want to put it in a little bag because it will hang on everything. Mm-hmm. Before I put it in the hobby lot. Breathe. Yeah. Boy, that steak was good tonight. We hadn't had steak in a while. It was good, wasn't it, honey? It was. We didn't have to wait too long. No. Even though it was Father's Day, mm. you'd think you would, but... It was pretty full, though. It was as full as they could do with every other table being empty. Oh, yep. It's packed, as far as that's concerned. Here's a lobster claw clasp. I know. And I don't know why it's put there. I'm not sure why it's got the, that at the end of the extender. So I don't know what's going on there, but this is your chain. It's a gold tone chain. It's a pearl drop. And it's got all its rhinestones. There's your bell, nice size bell, pretty pearl. Pretty pearl drop necklace. Gonna roll around in my hand. Very cute. Where'd Skinny go? I don't, I don't know. Mm, I don't either. Not sitting on her, are you? No, I feel that. I threw it over there to you, you know, before. So unless I'm not sitting on it, I promise. It's okay, we'll go find it later. Okay, anyway, that's a beautiful little necklace with the pearl drop. Next is a headband, I think. Or a necklace, just with a, a banded cloth in the back. I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you think it is? A necklace or a headband? Straighten that out a little bit. It's got nice little rhinestones. It's in good shape. I would definitely wear it as a necklace. But it could be worn as a headband. Interesting. This is an interesting one. It's got a lobster claw clasp, an extender with a big bead. These are um, matted beads. They're not polished. They're like a brushed look. You have black and silver tone. The silver tone has got a distressed look to it. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Very unusual. See, I don't know. I'm gonna put that in the hobby lot. Very cool, very cool beads. He just needs to be spray painted again. I've shown that, honey. No, you haven't. I just sent you. I just un unknotted that. Oh, that's that. another one? It's a different one, yeah. Oh. Different stock. No, it's still okay. the amethyst. The other one. Is that was red? An a amethyst, no. The okay. The other one was purple, too. Okay. Silver tone. 
Very pretty. This one's a lighter colored amethyst. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Look at there, that hand. Looks like starry night swirls. Here's the other side. Even got fingernails. Okay. I mean, it's got the detail, you know, of the fingernails. And even the bends in the... That's very unusual. Very, very unusual. It has a lobster claw clasp. And it's got some fuzz. I got it by George. I think I got it. I don't know the significance of those. Somebody's holding wind. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Talk to the hand. <laughs> hmm. It's different. wired necklace with real pretty pink little cat side beads and other pink beads. The wire is in excellent condition. It's silver. It's got that nice feel to it. It's got great movement. So this is a nice one. It's got a lobster claw clasp, an extender with the bead. It's got a little knot in it. Okay, we're back. We're back. This is cute. I don't know what it is. This has got a lobster claw clasp. And there's your extender with this bead on there. Kind of like a frosted, frosted glass, but it's not glass. It's acrylic. And you have these pretty beads and the cream colors. And you have, is that thunder? Yeah. Oh. Gosh, we're gonna have a storm. Not sure what these are. But this is a very pretty necklace. It's very, um, oh, island-like necklace. Don't you think, honey? I do. I like it. It feels good. These little things, whatever they are. <laughs> feels nice. They feel nice. That's nice. But I don't know what they are. This is just a really cool necklace. Cool summer necklace. 